about developing the breathing and mobility. Then we progress on to building our stability, okay? That's our fundamental motor control, our movement control. Now through those range of motions, let's say we did some good mobility exercise, some good breathing, we've achieved new range of motions. Now we need to stack some stability. We need to train the stabilizing muscles of the body to control movement through that new range of motion that we've achieved. Then we flow into developing strength on top of all that. And that's what really cements those ideal movement patterns into our nervous system and into our ability to perform them. All right. When we talk about strength, that means that we're just essentially adding resistance. We're adding load to the patterns that we develop mobility and stability within. All right. Then once we develop strength, it doesn't just stop there, especially if you're playing a sport, you know, you're doing any type of dynamic activities, you're playing, you know, tennis or you're playing basketball or anything like that. We then need to take that strength and we need to apply it dynamically. So that's plyometrics, right? Plyometrics.